Hello everyone, here is a new video of OpenCart B2B Marketplace. In the previous video, I have shown you how admin can easily manage the B2B Marketplace from the backend or you can say uh, from the admin panel. Now we will discuss how sellers or the wholesalers or the users of the marketplace can easily manage uh, their accounts in the front end so here is our demo seller account so this is how a demo seller account will be displayed so here is the dashboard of demo seller so under dashboard you can see the total orders total sales and total buyers of that particular sellers and here is the sales analytic graph and and seller can see the latest orders from here and uh, seller can also view the orders from this view button so here is the order now seller can manage their orders from uh, here so here is the orders page uh, we will uh, go to the dashboard so that's all for the dashboard now we will move to the my profile here seller can easily uh, manage their profile here is the seller's profile information their short profile description company name twitter id facebook id company locality country theme company banner so seller can easily manage their profile from here now here is the next tab payment mode here seller can uh, set their paypal id now here is the other payment info here seller can uh, give their bank account details for the payment purpose so that's all for the my profile now we will move to add product so seller can easily add new product from uh, add product page so seller have to fill all the information about the product and by this continue button the product will be saved now the order history as we have seen the order history previously uh, this is the order view order history page and uh, same the seller can easily view the order and manage the order from this view button so that's how seller can easily manage the orders now after order history there is a transaction menu and the transaction menu seller can see the transaction between the admin and the seller so seller can easily use filter to search for any uh, particular transaction now after transaction here is the product list uh, under product list seller can view the existing product so these are the existing products of that particular seller and seller can use the filter for search uh, searching any product or seller can add new product from here also or seller can add product from add product menu so seller can edit existing products from this edit button so that's all for the product list now uh, the downloads here are the uh, downloadable item list of the particular seller or seller can insert more downloadable items from here so after downloads uh, here is manage shipping seller can add shipping uh, from here so seller can easily upload csv file or seller can set flat rate shipping from uh, this field or uh, seller can upload csv file for table rate shipping from here so seller, that's how seller can easily manage the shipping uh, from this manage shipping menu now the next menu is ask to admin uh, by clicking on ask to admin there will be a pop-up shown uh, in this pop-up 
you can uh, see two fields the first field is subject uh, in subject you can uh, write the subject of your question or the query or in the next field is uh, here you can write your query and send it by clicking on send button you can send it uh, to the admin so that's all for the ask to admin menu now we will uh, move to create user so I have told you uh, that a user or a wholesaler or a user can easily create a sub user so if you click on create user now here is a sub user menu so here uh, seller can easily enter the sub users personal details so here is first name last name email id telephone fax now the address for the company and the password uh, if newsletter needs to be subscribed then yes or else no become multi-user customer then they have to select the customer group and here the customer group will be shown the sub customer group will be shown and the sub user will only have those access or authorities which its parent user or customer group will have or less than that now the next field is review product here seller can easily uh, review product now here is the my account email account password address book wish list order history now downloads recurring payments reward points returns transaction and newsletter and the last field is logout so that's all for the customer part or the seller part so I hope you have understood how a seller can add a new product to the marketplace and how seller can purchase uh, different products from the marketplace and uh, how seller can create a sub user uh, to work or to manage activities in marketplace so thank you for watching this video stay connected